Good morning guys and welcome back for another vlog. So I guess update on my mastitis. I'm not feeling any better, but I'm not feeling any worse. Like I just kind of feel, well I guess a little bit better, but yeah, I'm not really feeling a great deal of difference, but I guess that's probably normal for mastitis. I guess it kind of takes a while. And that's why you're given so many like antibiotics to take over a period of time. So I'm gonna continue taking them and hopefully I feel better a lot sooner than later. I was having her breakfast, poor thing, I think her teeth are really hurting her because like she was eating and like crying and like kind of shaking a bit. She seems a bit better, I've given her some Panadol so hopefully that helps her. But it's not good because like normally she doesn't like cry or anything while she's eating, like she's just like, like eats her food and like it will stop her from crying. But yeah, so she was like crying and eating at the same time so I knew like her teeth were definitely hurting her. Last night Luke did the dishes for me and tied up all the toys from Harper so that was really nice to wake up to a clean house, one that I haven't cleaned. <laughs> it's always, I don't know, a bit more refreshing when like, you know, you have a clean house and you didn't have to do it, you know what I mean? So that was really nice. So the plan for today is really just relaxing and trying to get better. So as you may have just seen, Luke's headed off to the shops with Harper. He just has to get a few Warhammer paints and some formula just in case we run out over the new year, but pretty sure we won't, but we like to just have that extra just in case. So they've gone out to do that and I've just fed a run and I popped him down. He's kind of still awake, but he might have still soon go to sleep. If not, I'll just pop him down and have a little play with him. And I've just put on some washing, just some white, just they're like, um, sheets and like sheet protectors just because like they need to be washed I don't like not having a spare sheet protector you know what I mean um, but yeah I'm still kind of trying to take it easy still not feeling 100% so just trying to rest as much as I can so I can feel better soon and that's another reason why Luke took up I just so I don't have to like keep chasing after her picking her up and stuff um, Bit easier looking after one than both at the same time but yeah hopefully I feel better soon So this is my lunch, I really can't be bothered making anything and this was actually a big effort just to do. I'm just going to have a vanilla latte and some toast and take some more Panadol and another antibiotic. I'm actually like worn out just from doing this so I'm going to go lay down on the couch and have my lunch. I just forgot my water in the room so I went to grab it. And I feel like I've got to hop on. Sorry, my strap keeps falling down. Um, I just I feel like I'm getting the fever part again. 
<sighs> I just got so hot, but I don't know whether it's because I just had a shower, maybe. That's why I feel really hot, but I had to take my jumper off. I was just like boiling. <sighs> this cat's still in my head and was all in me out. She's on heat. We need to get a desex spot. She was very, very timid, timid at first when like Luke first got her. So she was a rescue cat, so we were kind of scared it would like change her personality. But she's like gotten heaps better now that she has me looking after her as a mummy because Luke had her before we were together. Um, so soon I think she'll be fine to be desexed and I don't think it should affect her too much. Oh, is that nice in the bath? Yeah. <laughs> you look very happy. <gasps> Whoa, don't you try to roll in there. Mama's got you. Hey, Mummy's got you. So ignore that music in the back and that's just Orion, he's just having a little lay down. So I just bathed him as you would have seen and I don't think I should have done that. I've like, I feel like I've overdone it just by bathing him, which is ridiculous, but I feel worse now. I'm like really aching, my boobs and my stomach hurt, so that's great. I was feeling better, so I was like, oh, he needs a bath, I'll bath him, he should be alright wrong shouldn't have done that mistakes were made so yeah i'm just gonna have a little lay down on the couch while he's content on the floor playing and i've got a really cute outfit so i'll show you what that looks like even on the cat she's running around crazy um but yeah feeling crappy now luke and harper should be getting home soon so that's good i really miss them um but like I said, I'm just going to have a little lay down on the couch while I can. And while he is content and playing. This is his cute little outfit. Got some little black leggings on. A cute little top. So different dressing a boy to a girl. Luke, come here quick. Look what she's done. <laughs> Shit. Can you hear that, Harper? Did you see her climb it? What are little apron she's wearing Luke's nan oh, not Luke's nan this little apron she's wearing it's so cute Luke's mum made it for her so as you would have saw Harper and Luke are back and Harper was climbing her little house She's getting so much more confident in her climbing, which I'm so proud of, but also a little bit scared of. <laughs> and I just gave Ryan his bottle, and he's probably going to have a little nap soon, because he's just had a lot of time playing on the floor in between bottles. Yeah? You want to sleep? Or he might want to play again and then have a bottle. He's kind of like been having more awake time, which is good. It's like showing he's getting older. Hey. Especially like in the evenings, like between seven to nine is like when like he has his like long awake time between going to bed. But he's doing great, like he sleeps all night for me, which is really needed at the moment. But I'm sure with um, the way babies sleep, with their regressions and everything, it will change again at some point. If not, that's great. Harper didn't really, like, her sleep regression didn't change at all. Like, she didn't go through the sleep regression. So, I was lucky with her. But, you never know, baby number two might not all be the same. <laughs> oh, look how sweet he is. We were just having our dinner. 
and he was having some like full time and he fell asleep. So we've all had our dinner, Harper's had her bath and she's now in bed and Ryan is also still asleep so I thought I might take this opportunity and have a bath and have a bit of a soak. Hopefully it might help my muscles and my body feel a little bit better, less tired and achy and I'm thinking I might end the vlog now but before I do I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys. Do you have a New Year's resolution? It's New Year's Eve today. Um, I don't really celebrate it or have resolutions. I do have a goal that I want to do though. I want to just collect as many um, bread bag tags as I can and donate them. There's this really awesome charity who collect them and they make wheelchairs for people who can't afford one. So I think instead of like throwing them out or recycling them, you might as well give them to someone who's going to do like a good cause with them. So I'll put the information in the description for you guys if you want to have a look into it. And yeah, let me know what you're doing for the New Year's or for your resolution. I'd love to read them. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the New Year. Bye!